What's up guys, welcome back to another EVE Online video. This one's going to be covering Day Zero, as far as Day Zero Alpha uh, Abyssals. And what this will be is essentially a fit that allows you to run Tier Zero Abyssals, which can net you anywhere from 20 to 25 million an hour. Um, for me, I average usually anywhere between 1.8 to a little over 2 million per run. And the runs are extremely fast. Uh, they can be less than six minutes in most cases now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of go over the fit here this is um just kind of the standard uh tristan fit from eve university which i'll kind of go over here and then i'll link it and recommended skills in the description and then we'll uh i'll show you the run and everything like that and then we'll look at the appraisal value for all that loot so you can literally this is all alpha um uh capable so you can train all this stuff as an alpha. We're going to be running 200 millimeter autocannon ones with um, EMPS, and then our mid slots are going to be one MN micro propellant afterburner with a uh, our multi spectrum shield hardener one, and then a small clarity ward enduring shield booster. We will we're going to we'll cap out if we actually run this stuff all at once. So really, you're going to be trying to watch. How much you're using the shield booster in between pockets and normally whenever i kill the uh the mob or the uh rat i'll am near the gate i'll tear off the uh, prop mod as well and then our low is going to be all uh, ae tac k compact drone damage amplifiers and then for our rigs we're using small processor overclocking unit one with a small capacitor control circuit one we're just going to do two of those as far as what we're um, carrying i've got loot in here right now but I'm just carrying essentially uh, EMPS, some rounds for that, some uh, nano repair paste. And then for our drones, I'm just using alkalite ones, just eight of them. Now, the filament type that you're going to want to use for this is going to be Tranquil Electric. So let's see if we can grab, uh, they don't have any uh, where I'm at right now. But essentially, Tranquil Electric, electrical filament is what you're going to be wanting. And you're going to need three of them. And so you'll see whenever I start the run, we're doing a um, essentially a frigate abyssal, but we're doing it with one ship. So you have to be in a fleet, and then you have to have three of them just to do your one abyssal run. So uh, keep that in mind. If you try to go out and do it with just one filament, it's not going to work. You're going to need three of those those suckers. But anyway, we're going to go into the run. I'll kind of commentary over that, and then uh, we'll look at the uh, the value and everything. All right, so one one thing to keep in mind whenever you're doing this as a fleet, you're gonna actually get the tranquil um, filament up, and it's gonna have you open the portal as a uh, as a fleet. But then you're gonna have to actually click on it. I mean, normally if you're doing this just like with a cruiser or whatever, it'll automatically take you into the abyssal. So you have to go back and click on the actual gate and and activate it that way. So as you can see, this is gonna go pretty quick. I mean, these. These pockets are, they got one guy in them, usually. I think the last pocket in this run has like two frigates. But what we're doing is, our goal is to have our hardener on, put our problem on, on pretty much immediately. And we're going to go straight for the the loot container there, which I'm targeting just now. And what we're going to do is when we get close to that, we're going to use the guns, the auto cannons, to take that down. And we're just going to let the drones take care of the frigate in this pocket. And what we're doing is we're essentially going to try to time the looting of this container and the destruction of the rat kind of at the same time if we can. And then it's all about just looting that container, um, sucking your drones back in, and then uh, going through the gate. So as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and get dead close to this thing. And I've already got the gun on it. And then once it pops, just like that, we'll, uh, we'll just loot it. You get a lot of filament, you get a little uh, red loot and stuff like that. I just go loot all. I try to look at it later because I just like, you know, kind of get into these pretty quick. And if the rat is still up like that, I'll just kind of go straight for the gate. That way, uh, by the time drones get all in and everything, it didn't actually recognize <laughs> my command there. But it's all good. You'll almost never you'd run out of time doing this if you're not careful you're gonna have to like keep an eye on your drones they will take a lot of shield damage in here so 
as they like kind of start taking uh, armor damage, you might want to swap them out because you are carrying eight of them. So if one gets significantly damaged, then you're going to want to bring him back into the drone hold and put out a freshie. So you, you don't you don't want to lose your drones. That's your main uh, of offensive ability. So pocket two, same thing. We're going to approach the, uh, the loot container. And uh, we'll use the shield booster as needed. As you can see here, we're going to go ahead and get drones on this guy. And then uh, kind of just start working on that loot there. As you see, the, the drones are going to do pretty good. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to train your, uh, your drone skills and everything as high as you can. That's just going to make these runs even better. Train your uh, Galante frigate skill as high as you can. If you're an alpha, that's like level 4. So... Doing any sort of things like that, um, drone avionics, drone durability, um, drone sharpshooting, any of that stuff will just really kind of round out this fit and allow you to do these pretty quick. This tune has like 6.5 million skill points, so she's pretty much got all the drone stuff, all the shield stuff. Um, she's a little light on auto cannon or on our projectile weapon, but we're using it for the, the loot boxes, so it doesn't affect it too much. But really the important thing is, I think she's also missing like Galante Frigate 4. So I think she's at like 3. So her damage could be a little bit better. But as you can see, it's not really setting us back for this difficulty. And really the purpose of running tier zeros is we can kind of almost guarantee our survival. With the exception of maybe like a disconnect. And uh, we just do them a lot over and over and over and you can't really beat that as an alpha like day zero, you know, turning around two million in five minutes, right? That's just really good. So right here, we're gonna cut the the shield booster, go and set the drones in, and then we're off to the third pocket. I think we end up finishing this one in like I want to say like five or six minutes, which is pretty good. So this pocket actually does have two mobs in it but these guys are a lot less tanky than the first two that we had to to mess with but same thing as as usual you know we're gonna go for that loot and then once those guys get in range we're gonna target them and then we're gonna just kind of take them down you'll see these guys are gonna go down super quick go ahead and get drones on one of them yeah see that we're already in armor on that one it slows down a little bit, but um, yeah, it, this pocket goes by by pretty quick. So, and there are some frigates that you'll um, like Indicom, like mobs and stuff like that. You'll probably want to keep distance on, like Skybreakers, things like that. I think I think they're called. So those you're just gonna try to stay like keep it range like 20k on them, and then uh, they'll kind of chase you down or something like that. But uh, just kind of keep distance from them, and really kind of it's better just keep distance from all of them for the most part. But they move pretty quick, so they're gonna most likely be orbiting you before you know it so there's the last loot container and what i'll do is at the end of this video i'll throw all that stuff into a uh into an appraisal and you'll be able to see but the run is essentially two million um in value for that little amount of time so we're gonna take this guy down and then we'll suck drones and then just pop right back out and uh that'll be kind of how that goes so they're done Everything's looted. Turn everything off. Yep. A little over 14 minutes remaining. And then we'll go ahead and just escape. Go back to known space. But pretty simple. And you can just keep doing these over and over and over as long as you have filaments. But yeah, well, here's the appraisal. You can see about 2 million for the run. As you can see, it's not bad income. It's really good for just getting out of the gate as far as starting your character. It's... um extremely accessible once you actually get this ship going and you get that income going you could upgrade it there's a kind of a path going through all of it but you can literally just start a character start doing this train in and make it this fit a little bit better where your times are better but i mean the only other better thing you could do as an alpha day zero would probably be like data sites and everything but even those are kind of hard to find you should get this fit and you go out to like a 0 0.8 or something you want to run them at 0 0.8 or um, 0.7 or something like that then you can just start doing these uh, pretty much ad nauseum and make quite a bit early on so thank you for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one peace out